Hey guys, uh, new to books here again with uh, another review. This is, review is going to be over the first book I completed in the 50 book challenge for this year. I started about a month ago, and uh, since then I've you know I've I've been pretty busy reading. I got a quite a good uh, books under my belt now, but uh, just now I got around to doing the reviews. So without ado, the first book, uh, Meeting Evil by Thomas Berger. Uh, this is a library copy until right there and uh, kind of glad I got it from the library but uh, we'll go into that later when I do the review a little background for you Thomas Berger he was born in uh, 1924 he is the author of 23 novels and five plays uh, among those the uh, they branch into crime detective utopian science fiction Arturian mythology and survival adventure. Uh, his first novel, Being Crazy in Berlin, uh, basically came from his being stationed in a medical unit in Berlin during World War II. Uh, now, Meeting Evil was written in 1992. It's roughly 220 to 240 pages, determining on which book you get. So it's not too bad. Uh, it only takes a couple days to get through. Now this book was made into a movie. Uh, the movie stars Luke Wilson and Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, I have not seen the movie and I probably will not see the movie. I've uh, heard from other people who have seen it and I've read reviews. And apparently, you know, you know like most movies, it kind of adds a little to the story to make it more Hollywoody, I guess you would say. But that being said, on to the review. Now, Meeting Evil is a book basically about your, your, your hero um, if you can call him that, I guess, uh, John Felton, and uh, he, uh, he is a father of two, married, uh, he's a real estate agent, and um, he's at his house one day, and uh, he gets a knock on the door, and wherein Richie comes into the story. Now, Richie being y your evil character, from, you know, the title meeting evil, and uh, Richie has a situation with his car that he needs John's help with. So, being a nice guy, John helps him with his car and basically this all happens within the first couple pages of the book and uh, from then on it's just poor decision after poor decision after poor decision for John who just should just get out of the situation from the beginning like he thinks he should and tells himself throughout the whole book I should just get out of this decision but no he just keeps doing more and more and more stupid things but you know that's the book um, like uh, other Thomas Berger books, you know, you, you have an evil character and you have a somewhat type of hero that would not be considered, I guess, an everyday hero in society, which, you know, is basically kind of his, you know, M.O. But, uh, you know, your evil character, Richie, you know, he portrays that of poor manners, that of psychosis, uh, that of having a, a dark humor personality, and... Uh, you know, John Felton is your just normal, everyday, average guy that's just trying to get by, you know, and uh, just gets gets put into situations that he, you know, he tries to get out of or tries to make better for himself, but just does not do well at. Um, the book basically spans a, you know, right around a 24-hour period in the life of these two characters, John Felton and Richie, and uh, the choices that John makes throughout the day. And, just, you know, as as the police chase them and, you know, things just get worse and worse for him. Uh, in the end, you know, John Felton does do kind of the right thing, I guess. But, you know, without going into much detail about it, you know, it's just kind of like, finally, there you go. But, um, like I said, the book was a pretty okay read for me. I got through it pretty quick. It's not one of those that kind of gripped me and just made me just read the book. But, um... That's why I was glad it was a library rental. Just take it right back to the library. I probably will not buy this book from my own personal library. Uh, whereas the book's good, I'll probably definitely read more of Thomas Berger uh, in the future. Uh, they just will all probably be library. Um, now, he is the author of a book called Little Big Man, which might be the second one I read by him. And that is probably his uh, most famous to date. And uh, that's probably what I'll do next. Now... Other book reviews coming up, you know, I've just recently finished The Stranger by Albert Camus, and I'll probably be doing that here in the next couple of days. I've got the last lecture to do, 
I've uh, just about finished The Invisible Man by Chuck Klosterman, so I've got that one coming up, and uh, a couple more. So uh, I've got a lot to do over the next few days. So I'll be uh, posting those here, and I hope y'all uh, get information out of this that helps. Uh, I'll be talking to y'all then.